Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be creating a client listing page, which shows the admin, all of the clients that they have, allowing them to click into the client detail page, see all their projects, associated invoices, etc. But this lesson is just going to be client details. We're going to make it look really great too. So let's get started by heading into software and creating a new page if we haven't created it already. Let's go to our pages. And we actually already have our clients page created. So that's great. Let's start off by adding a new block. And again, it's a listing. We want to show all of our clients. So let's go to list. And then we're going to say right here, this block right here, because then we can style it in a pretty cool way. So we're going to give that a try to, to our company, our clients. All right. And then I don't think we need to add any conditional filters. We do want to make sure that this clients page though is only visible to our admins right oh, save that sorry all right that's great and you can see that this comes in pretty nicely done already for us but let's go into our content we'll actually change this filter right here we're going to say it's going to be the type and then we're going to do just industry what type of industry it is we're going to add it to the drop down above here and we're going to position it right there with our top on the drop down right there next to our search bar that's great and then for the search we have to select some kind of field that we're going to search by so let's at least do company name, but also software makes it really easy to search by a lot of things. So let's also search by projects, users, and invoices. That sounds pretty good. All right, so that's good. Let's go over to content now and just customize this a little bit more. Starting off with our item fields, let's go to our border color. Let's keep that, but let's go to our background color. We're just going to make this white, all right? So that's pretty cool. Let's go to our logo here and just make it smaller. See if we can, instead of cover, let's do contain. There we go. Make it a little bit bigger now. That's looking good for us. We have an empty company here. So I'm just going to go into company, find that empty value, delete that. because it's messing up our preview. All right. And then we can get back into here and go to our content. Let's keep with our company name. And we could do the alignment for this center. Let's go to the content. And let's go to center there. And then we can make the content just a little bit bigger for that. And then we'll go back to this label and we'll just get rid of the label. We don't need it. That's great. But we do need a little bit more spacing. So let's do some top padding top there. And then padding bottom there. Great. Now let's go back. And for this, we don't need an address, but let's show the website. There we go. Great. Show the website. And again, we will make this content center right and then for the actual tag for what kind of industry it is let's do a tag and then do industry and then content we do center it's great and then we're going to format our tags the background color is that light gray and the same formatting for all of our tags and that's just because that's the professional thing to do you find something, you find that style, and you keep it consistent all throughout your app. Now, some of our updated block to the software does this for you automatically, but this block in itself isn't the most updated one, so we need to do a little bit more manual things, but that's okay because it still looks great, and we still have that control, so all good there. So we have our client listing built. We have the search experience built. We have the filter experience, but we don't have the add new client yet. So let's add that functionality, and then we'll finish up this lesson. Action buttons, add new record, and it's going to say add new clients. I'm going to say new client, add it successfully. And for this, we'll start with our company name up here. So it'll be company name. And then after that, we'll go address. And address is going to be text, it can be address. And then we'll go drop down for our industry. There we go. Industry. Another thing I want to show you is you see how these options come in. We have the ability to sort. We can also sort them as defined in our source, which means that we can show them in the exact order that we've listed them here if we want more control there. I like that a lot. It's a great function that software has. So we're going to keep that there. Gives you that control for how it's being displayed to our user. And then after industry, we're going to do a drop down for size. We want this in that order. Size of company. 
and then we'll have a file field for our logo. And that should do it. Add new client, close model. And then for this button, let's just say add client. And let's preview it. So refresh. Now we have this beautiful client listing here. Add client. Boom, 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 boom. We can add that new client. Get searched by company name. There it is. Very cool. So... I think that finished it for this lesson. It was a quick one. The next lesson, we'll create the actual detail page for this. And we're in the home stretch. So I'll see you there.